Hello, it's Raccoon Tower. I hope everyone is having a great day so far. However, one of my close Raccoon friend recently told me about the Division 2's bosses, so I decided to investigate. Turns out, these little shits can be some of the most frustrating, and cancerous as anything can be in the game. One particular fellow that we will be taking a look at this fine evening, is going to be the Juggernaut type boss, or the melee type. Let me quickly roll a little clip explaining what I am talking about, and then after I will describe exactly why this boss type is so incredibly annoying. Enjoy. My frustration stems from the fact that these beasts practically completely prevent any type of healing attempt, and any made in vain will be met with a goddamn sledgehammer.002 seconds after you are able to hide. This is met with spamming the spacebar, rolling around praying that you won't be eviscerated for trying to survive. Now, of course, this particular gripe is remedied with group play. However, I am not gifted with having tons of friends always willing to play. Yes, the Division 2 comes complete with many options allowing you to group up with random people who are your gear score level, but playing with people you know touches a spot that many things aren't allowed to. Now I could complain even more, but there is another thing as well. The weak points on this boss are incredibly hard to reach as a solo player, and I am often forced to result in brute force techniques, going for various locations of armor, hoping I can whittle away and eventually break to skin. It's also probably because I am a little bitch and rarely communicate in groups, and have a particularly aggressive playstyle. I also would like to point out, that there are different type of boss enemies. Named enemies can take on many forms of enemies from their respective faction. For example, the basic private chevron enemy type can be a named enemy. They can also be an elite enemy. They will still have a gold nameplate, and act as they normally would with red health and no armor. My point is that these boss types are very particular. The Juggernaut with an LMG is also a type of boss, which I will also cover, but these guys are incredibly easy to counter with any LMG and relatively precise accuracy. There are others, but I am going over the ones that I dislike. Bosses are always a fun addition to any game, and an essential one at that. They are intended to be difficult, and they typically are always given their very own persona and play style. That is perfectly normal, and it is also accepted. However, there are ones that act like bloody flies, and that is also perfectly normal. It balances gameplay, and adds variety. This next little clip will show how goddamn easy it is to counter the LMG juggernaut, and how fun it is to rapidly chip away at his armor. Enjoy. In this first clip, you will see me first begin to shoot at the red item on the boss. This is a critical hit point, and is an essential place to aim for. 
In this one, I am at the minigun's belt links. This will instantly and always force the boss down to force him to reload. This leaves him vulnerable to damage, and can be easily dealt with after. This is the primary reason as to why this boss type varies from the juggernaut type. These in my opinion, are a meme, and pose no real threat if you can dispose of the weak points quickly. Either way, this about wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. The voice did change halfway through, you are not crazy. I am still working on all of this, and I really will try to provide some quality content. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Don't forget to remind your friends and family that raccoons have feelings too, and that if they see any freezing little babies, that they should immediately take them inside and give them a hot bath.